Okay, so first of all, I uh, want to clarify uh, who uh, this insurance is for. Uh, this ACA health insurance is for people like me uh, who don't have insurance, who don't have an employer uh, to provide insurance, who can't get insurance through a spouse and not old enough to be eligible for Medicare. Uh, if you have insurance through your employer, this is not for you. If you're getting insurance from a spouse who gets uh, the insurance from the employer, not for you. If you're already on Medicare, wait for Gene's presentation. So self-employed, you're a small employer, don't have insurance, or you work part-time that don't qualify for the insurance from the employer, and you retire, you don't have an employer, but you're not 65 yet. Uh, during the uh, first year or first 18 months after you leave your job, you qualify for COBRA, but you don't have to take it. Uh, COBRA uh, may be too expensive or you already exhausted all your COBRA options. So this is your option. Okay, so uh, ACA, um, they have a, uh, call it a Expedia or Priceline travel agents, online travel agency model. They call it a marketplace or exchange. So what happens is uh, they have insurance uh, companies load their plans onto this website called marketplace or exchange. And then you go on this website, you choose your employee, you choose your insurance, and then you give all the inf information to this marketplace or exchange, sort of like when you're booking uh, a, a a uh, hotel or an airline ticket. And then this agency, um, the marketplace or exchange will forward your information to the insurer and then you're enrolled and then you pay the insurer directly. They, uh, they go from there. Um, so each state, every state has a marketplace slash exchange like this. Uh, some states run their own, like California. Most of the people I see from the chat are from California. We're presenting to San Jose and Sacramento. So California has its own website. It's called Covered California uh, or CoveredCA.com. And then some, I think, 14 states or, or some, uh, some number around that have a separate website for their own states, uh, for their own, yeah, for their own exchange. And then some other states, the national, the federal government has a platform, healthcare, uh, .gov. For the other states and those states, they say, I, I don't want to bother to create my own website. And then they just use this platform. They do pay a fee to the federal government for the privilege of using the platform. Um, on the exchange, they make it simpler because the insurance policies vary quite a bit. So they put all the policies into different buckets and they call it uh, metal tiers, bronze, silver, gold, and platinum. Within each tier, the insurance policies are still slightly different, but they're similar. So you can, the reason that they group this is just make you uh, make it easier for you to compare. A bronze policy and a silver policy uh, differ a lot, um, but a bronze policy from this insurance company and bronze policy from the other insurance company are sort of comparable. And then the other uh, benefit of having this exchange is centralized. You don't go, you don't go shopping on uh, each insurance uh, company's website and compare their plans. You compare everything together on one website, and then you uh, put in your information on to give to this agency. And then if you today, uh, you have this insurance uh, policy from uh, this company, and then uh, next year you wanna switch, they still have the, the agency, the marketplace or exchange, has your information and then just forward your information to a different insurance company. Um, so right now, uh, annual enrollments, it's currently uh, underway, uh, started November 1st. Um, it lasts through January 15th, but you have to enroll by December 15th to make sure your policy starts on January 1. If you missed the December 15th and, until January 15th, and then your insurance won't kick in until February 1st. Um, this is annual open enrollment, but if you have special uh, cases, like if you retire or you move from one state to another, then you, you qualify for special enrollment. So this is not your only chance, but you, you have to have some special qualification uh, to enroll mid-year. Uh, another uh, defining aspect of uh, enrolling on the ACA uh, marketplace slash exchange is you potentially can qualify for ACA subsidy. Insurance companies also offer policies on their own, not through the ACA exchange, uh, uh, marketplace, 
but uh, there is no way for you to get the subsidy. So if you, there is almost no reason uh, for you to buy a uh, off exchange policy directly from the insurance company because the prices are similar and you, you know, you you have some chance to get some subsidy if you enroll on the official uh, marketplace. But if you enroll dire directly with the insurance company, there is no chance for you to get subsidy. Um, there is a minimum income requirement to get the subsidy is 100% or 130%, uh, 138% of the federal policy level, of uh, federal poverty uh, level. Um, this is, uh, you know, relatively easy uh, to overcome. Uh, very, very low income. F uh, federal poverty level is like fourteen thousand dollars a year uh, for one person, seventeen thousand or thereabout uh, for two people. So very, very minimum income. But if you are retiring and you say I'm not drawing off my IRA, I'm just. Uh, uh, drawing income from my savings account, the savings account, the principal, they don't count as income, only the interest counts as income. You may fall under this, but you, you can just uh, do a Roth conversion in that case to bring your income up. Um, the formula to uh, calculate the uh, subsidy, uh, they have uh, this so-called um, benchmark plan. It's the second lowest cost silver plan. So different policies are grouped into brown, silver, gold, and platinum. Within the silver, um, there are different cost structures within the silver plan. And you they don't pick the least expensive silver plan. They pick the second least expensive silver plan. That's your benchmark. And they say, uh, if you pay, based on your income, you pay a certain prescribed percentage of your income, you should be able to afford this. If the second lowest cost silver plan costs more, then you get the subsidy to make up the difference. So what happens is when you enroll, they ask you, what's your estimate in income? You, you give an estimate income, and then they calculate, oh, based on your income, you should say, uh, you should pay, say, 7% of your income. Your 7% of income is, say, $5,000. But the second lowest cost silver plan costs $10,000. So then you, you pay 5,000 and we pay the other 5,000. So this is a, just an estimate. And then uh, at the end of the year or next year, when you file your taxes, uh, you, you reconcile. So based uh, similar, uh, I say similar to tax withholding, when you are doing tax withholding, uh, you have this income, they say, okay, uh, you probably, you should pay this amount of taxes. So they withhold it uh, ahead of time. So this is just in reverse. They say, based on your estimated income, you probably should get this amount of subsidy. So they pay that in advance. And then when you file your taxes, it turns out you qualify for more, then you get more. If it turns out you qualify for less, then you pay back the difference. Um, at some lower income, there's another uh, layer of subsidies. Uh, this is called CSR, cost sharing reductions. So this lowers your deductible and co-pays on silver plans. So if you enroll in a silver plan, normal silver plan deductible is say $4,000 a year. If your income is sufficiently low, then you can qualify for a better enhanced silver plan. This is say $2,000 or $1,000 of uh, deductible or co-pay. Uh, you is $50, but you pay only $20. So CSRs uh, don't require uh, reconciliation. So if your income uh, matches or has some possibility of meeting this threshold, you can estimate lower, and then uh, you get the CSR at the end of the year. If your income is higher, you don't, you're not required to pay back the CSR. Um, so based on the subsidy, if you do the algebra, you can say you can see the net price you pay after the subsidy is a percent of income plus the difference between the plan that you actually choose and the minus the second lowest silver uh, cost silver plan. So if you happen to choose the second lower uh, silver plan, uh, this part is zero. So so the the second part sorry, the second part is zero. But if you pick a Brown's plan, the second part in the parenthesis uh, will be negative. So you will pay lower than the prescribed percentage of income. If you choose a gold plan, then you have to pay the difference. So then your net price will be higher. Um, so if you study this uh, formula for a little few minutes and you will see, we're all concerned about healthcare inflation. So what if 
healthcare increases 20% next year and 20% each year, um, you can see as long as you keep your income, as long as you qualify for the subsidy, you're, you're mostly uh, insulated from the increases. So if you cho always choose the second lowest cost silver plan, the second part is zero. So your net price is just your percentage of income. No matter how much the second uh, the the plan costs, you're just paying your percentage of income. The cost increases don't affect you. Um, if you choose a bronze plan, then it still affects you, but not as much. You're only paying the difference between the bronze plan and the second lowest cost silver plan. So if that's 20% of the second lowest cost silver plan, and then the silver plan increases the prices by 15%, you're only paying 20% of the 15% increase. So, um, but if you don't have subsidy, then you're fully exposed to all the healthcare uh, inflation. Um, and then the other thing is, if you look at this formula, is based on the percentage of income. The percentage of income, the percent itself, is a graded uh, a scale. Uh, the higher your income, not only your income is higher, but the percentage is also higher. So the percentage a percentage varies from 0% to 8.5%. So if your income is low, you could be paying 5.5%. As your income increases, you can be paying 7.5% uh, up to 8.5%. So you, effectively, if you do uh, uh, Roth conversions, uh, people say when you retire early, it's the best time to do Roth conversions, but uh, there is a catch. Uh, as your income goes up, your uh, net price for your healthcare also increases. So this will be a uh, effectively a, a additional marginal tax uh, on the Roth conversion. So uh, have to be careful. Uh, and also uh, before 2020, uh, before 2020, there is a cliff on the subsidy. Uh, if your income goes above 400% of the federal poverty level, and then you, your, your subsidy becomes zero. So all of a sudden you pay a whole lot on, the, uh, on, the, on healthcare. Yeah. So people have to manage their income below the 400% uh, power, federal poverty level. Uh, this cliff uh, by law is going to come back after 2025. So they, they just extended this uh, cliff relief for another three years, 2023, 24, and 25. Uh, based on the law today, after 25, we have to be careful on the 400% uh, federal poverty level again. So on the bottom of this slide, I have the numbers. So about $54,000 based on 2023 uh, for one person, about $73,000 uh, uh, modified AGI for two people. Um, so ACA health insurance is great because uh, you can get ins uh, insurance. Uh, otherwise, before ACA health insurance, people like me uh, would face, uh, you know, uh, not uh, being able to get insurance, um, or they have this uh, pre-existing condition exclusions. Um, but it has some limitations. The problem is without the subsidy, it can be very expensive. So the policy I'm enrolling uh, this year will cost $14,000. It's a Brown's plan, has a $15,000 deductible. Effectively, everything I, uh, I do, I have to pay out of pocket. And I still have to pay $14,000 a year for the privilege. Um, and this is uh, for my area and in some other areas, it can also be more expensive. Also, the insurance premiums goes up by age. Um, unlike Medicare, everybody pays the same price regardless of uh, whether you're 65 or you're 85. Uh, in ACA health insurance, if you're 45 versus you're 60, uh, the prices can be greatly different. Um, and also, uh, if you pick a uh, cheaper plan within the within the bronze plan or within the silver plan, the insurance companies may have a very narrow network. They the doctors or the facilities may not be the ones that you like. And then because the ACA insurance is managed by the state, uh, either the state its own exchange or state uh, managed on the healthcare.gov, the networks of doctors and hospitals and facilities they're all within the state. Uh, so in practical matter, uh, there is no out-of-state coverage except for emergencies. 
But today, uh, with virtual visits, you can you know uh, do virtual visits with your uh, in-state doctors if you happen to be a snowbird uh, visiting other states. Um, every state exchange uh, or healthcare.gov offers this shop and compare feature. So outside of open enrollment, you can also check on prices. Uh, if you're thinking of retiring, but retiring to a different state, or you're thinking of uh, uh, moving somewhere, you can check on the healthcare uh, prices on those exchanges. On this map, the states uh, highlighted with yellow, they have their own uh, exchange. So you can just Google the state name plus ACA marketplace or ACA exchange. You can find the exchange and then uh, find the shop and compare feature uh, to see how much insurance would, uh, would uh, cost in that state. Um, when you do the shop and compare, you don't have to give any uh, name or uh, email address. You can just uh, give your ages, uh, your zip code, and then your estimate income. It'll tell you how much this insurance costs, how much uh, you're expected to get subsidy, uh, and then uh, sh and even down to specific insurance companies, specific uh, networks. So coverca.com is uh, the one for California, and then uh, all the gray um, states uh, in gray they use healthcare.gov. So uh, I thought I would uh, just uh, give a demo on uh, Cover CA. So give me a second. So I have, um, so do you still see Cover CA here? Uh, we see open enrollment is here. Yeah, yeah, open enrollment is here. So this is Covered California. Uh, website is coverca.com. On the top right here, uh, there's a shop and compare. So click on that. So this is, I'm looking for 2023, um, so 9021. So I'll take that. And then your total income, let's say I'm $80,000 a year. How many people? Let's say I'm just shopping for one. Let's say I'm 55 and then, okay. And let's see. Review plans. Um, so here they have some filters uh, for you to see uh, your doctors and facilities. We're not going to do that. So what's this low resources? Okay, so uh, so you see all these uh, all these uh, insurance offers. Um, so it tells me based on my income, I'm just one person having an eighty thousand uh, dollar income. I'm I qualify for fifty dollars per month of subsidy. Uh, that's not much. Um, and then they have all these filters. So, so you see the platinum, gold, and silver, and bronze, and then. Um, they have filters uh, based on uh, insurance companies, which companies you want to pick. Uh, and then they have a filter for healthcare, uh, health, health savings account. I want to uh, pick one that qualifies for H, uh, HSA, which I'll present next. So let's say I want one with HSA. So that narrows down my uh, choices to, all, to these four. And these are all browns. Um, costing from $500 a month to $770 a month um, based on my $50 uh, savings. You know, I have Kaiser or Blue, uh, Blue Shield of California. And then you will see uh, $7,000 deductible here. Uh, they all have $7,000 deductible here. Um, so that's how you do it. Um, so if you don't care about it, that and then I only care about I want a silver and then these are my choices from 550 to 985 
obviously the choices of doctors will be different. Imagine Blue Shield will have a wider selection of doctors versus uh, LA Care being the least expensive. So. So that's how you do it. Um, more information, I have uh, written um, a number of blog posts on ACA health insurance. Uh, it's on this uh, tag, uh, the financebuff.com tag uh, ACA. And then I have a contact form. If uh, you, have, you don't see anything covered there, uh, feel free to drop me a line.